Hi, welcome back. Now in this video, uh, we're going to create uh, a menu item for users to be able to update uh, status uh, or uh, log out. Just like uh, we have in our app, uh, it's called uh, this. So if I log in, or just simply, yeah, let's just log in. And so a menu item is uh, click that I can update uh, or a user can log out and be taken back to the login activity. They can be able to log in or create an account if they don't have one. So let's go ahead and create a menu item for the home page activity. Now inside of our menu items, uh, inside uh, the, and the mid to start creating uh, menu items for activities, uh, the folder that you'll, you should be looking for is located inside of res. The resource folder and it's the menu folder and inside of that you'll be able to get access to the uh, uh, specific files uh, XML files for your activities so in this case you're looking for homepage.xml and this is uh, uh, pre consi consigning uh, homepage activity so and login activity login.xml is for the login activity register is for the register activity so you're looking for the homepage activity and make sure it's homepage activity because sometimes I end up confusing and uh, that's a common mistake. Uh, all right, so here uh, uh, we have a settings. This setting is now what is showing in the home page, and that is evident by simply going to our app. It's called uh, I called it login. I don't know why I changed the name for that. I need to ch check that. All right, so uh, let me actually first of all change its name right now because that is a problem. All right. And make sure we extend the values strings. It's app name. Label is app name. And So you want when the user launch, they go to the home page activity. So this is supposed to be actually home page, but in this case, I'll leave it at that and I'll edit those later. Um, sorry for that, guys. And I'll just head back and just keep going with the name like that. I won't worry about that right now. It's called login. So let's just let me just show you exactly how it looks uh, right now. And if I click on the home page, I see settings, and this is what we have here, the settings. So the f we want to get rid of the setting, and let's create a new ID and call this uh, update status. And then we're going, to, we're going to call the title. The title for this is going to be um, update. And I don't, don't need the category in order, and I want to show it in, as action. And I set this as always so that it appears always on the home page and I mean on the action bar pretty much and then what else do we need we need we might need the icon but I don't have an icon right now so I'll copy the same and put another one for logout and I change this to logout user that's the ID and then I'll call this logout. And this one is never. So that it doesn't show the on the whole in the action bar all the time. So that it kind of prompts the user to log out. Uh, something of the sort. So now since we have those, if we run the app, you should be able to see update and um, log out. So, okay, I need to log in again here. Okay. Can't log in for some reason. Oh, I don't have a, somebody called good in there. That's in the other. Hmm. 
All right, so we have updates showing in the action bar, and then we have the logout not showing because we said it to never. So this is what I was I intended to do. Show you. So if you set it as always, it will sh always show an action bar. And then there's always if room that you could always set. Uh, always if there's room, you could always show it if there's room. So there's more options you can set there. So with that, having done that, now let's give it some action that when you click it, we want to create another activity that user can go and update their status. So uh, let's create a new, uh, a new activity where people can add to change their status. So we create new activity and a blank activity. And we're going to call this update status activity and that's okay and we're set and now um, after creating that activity we'll now say we want now when the the button is the update is clicked the the, the user will be taken to add an item so we say uh, let me get rid of this. I can let me actually not do it first. But that is done inside of this method called an option on options item selected menu item. So this is where you get the ID of your of your menu item. Uh, and then if the ID is equals to, so we start uh, first of all by holding the ID in an int, and then we say if the ID is this, we find it find the view bytes ID action uh, uh, that we return to we do some stuff in here and then return true so like toast or something so to make this easy I always like using switch method instead it's kind of like if but more um, preferred so it says switch ID and then we now start checking in here and we say case and then kiss r that ID dot uh, the ID we give to our uh, update button is update status S update status case ID and then this is make sure it's a colon not a semicolon guess it's that do something here and then we want to break always make sure you put break and then so if it's after update status is clicked we want to take the user take user to update status activity and then case r dot id dot and the logout is logout user logout id logout log out okay so let's get this right here why can't I get access to it? There you go now. All right, so log out user colon. Do something and then break. So what do you want to do here? We want to log out the user. So first of all, let's take the user to the new activity. And that is very simple, like we've already showed you. And we're going to use intent. So we're going to say intent, intent equals to new intent. And where we're coming from is the homepage activity that this, in the context, uh, or we can just say this. In this case, we don't have to write homepage because can able to get access to the context and meet right there with this. And we're going to update status activity that class. And then after doing that, we now call start activity and then we start the intent. And let's try that out. And so that when the user 
So, and then if I update, oh. okay, that's weird. Okay, do that break, do that break, switch ID. Let me try running it again. Okay, and uh, I'm landing in the login activity all the time, so date now I'm able to do it. So if you can see, I'm able to update and I'm able to go to update status activity. So that is great. Now let's see how we can log out a user. And logging out a user is very easy, and this is done by parse. You can simply call, I don't even have to copy it, just simply write parse user dot logout, logout. And the users will be logged out. Will be logged out. Now, after the user is logged out, you want to take the user back to the ho uh, login screen. Take the user back to the login screen. So we say use an intent here as well. Uh, take user to login equals to new intent. Uh, we're coming from, <clears throat> excuse me, this context, and we're heading to the login activity dot class, and then we start activity, and then take user to login. So let's try this out. So let's log in and then say log in, then log in. Then we are welcomed. We're now uh, our current user. We're now a user in session. So we can do stuff, get, uh, you know, update status, like do that, you know, all that kind of stuff. And then we can also log out. And when you log out, you take him back to the home screen. And yeah, so that's something we have to fix when you click back. So in the next video, we'll be talking about how to arrange our app now. Since we have the home page, the login, and the register activities created, we're going to see now how we want our app to work according to the previous slide we talked about uh, uh, when we started. So we're going to see how, uh, when the, if the user is, is not logged in, they'll be taken to the home page, to the, to, the log, to the login page where they can log in or create an account. So we'll see that in the next video.